Hi, everybody. My name is Max Bell. I'll bet every one of you has recorded some information tonight, today. Maybe you wrote an email or a text or you wrote something down. Maybe you took a picture or a video. How long will that information last? 5,000 years ago, a stone tablet was created and it announced the unification of North and South Egypt. Um, up on top, you can see the catfish and the chisel. Catfish, nar, chisel, mer, narmer. It's a rebus for the name of that pharaoh. For 3,000 years, they did this, but at, um, Alexander took over a big chunk of Egypt and it became more Greek. And as a result, this practice um, subsided. For 2,000 years, we forgot hieroglyphics and couldn't understand them. But in 1799, we found this stone that was a similar announcement with hieroglyphics, but it also had Greek. So we could use these characters, and it took us uh, a generation and a lot of different people working on it to decode hieroglyphics so we could understand them again. So you're saying this is ancient technology. Well, what about something more recent? In the 20th century, we now use magnetic storage media to record things. And you can see all the tapes in the back, and these guys invented C and Unix. So w the problem with this storage medium is there's this perception of permanence that's not there. In 1966, we launched a, an orbiter program to map the moon so we could land there. We had to find a landing site. These were really high resolution uh, photographs of the moon. After we shot the pictures on an orbiter, they were developed automatically on board and then radioed back to Earth and recorded on videotape because that was the highest resolution medium we had for recording electronic information. Um, normally, these tapes are used to time shift TV shows um, for, for broadcast in other time zones. Um, this was, excuse me, in 1972, the budgets were slashed because we successfully landed on the moon and priorities changed and they filed away the tapes and kind of forgot about them. Nancy Evans was the project manager that inherited lots of these tapes and she immediately realized that the tape players had become obsolete and nobody could get the image. And they had to get to look at these images like the first picture of the Earth from the moon. We had to look at these old photographic copies that we made from tape. So she got all these tapes and she, they said, yeah, you're gonna have to um, throw those out now. Well, she didn't do that. She put those in her garage and spent the next 20 years trying to figure out how to decode them again. She had to find experts that knew how to operate these obsolete tape machines and then relearn how to decode this special encoding for you know, moon mapping, uh, moon imaging. About 10 years ago, NASA started supporting the effort again and they gave a team of volunteers an abandoned McDonald's to store the tapes and to digitize them. And that Lunar Orbiter Image Recovery Project just finished restoring all of these last year at Ames Research Center. So now we have recovered this archive after over a generation of the highest quality images ever collected of the moon. And you can see that with digital techniques, we can get a lot higher quality than was ever thought possible back when these photographs were taken. That's a good shot. I think this is the, the old deck. So all these uh, space agencies subscribe to a standard that Nancy Evans created to avoid wasting a chunk of over half of the world's population's GDP, um, st storing information, you know, like scientific data, and then losing it. And now all these national archives subscribe to the same standard that Nancy Evans created. So, for 3,000 years, they were recording hieroglyphics on stone to make sure that everybody remembered these announcements by these pharaohs, but then we lost it for 2,000 years, even though they wrote it on stone, right? Um, is this still on auto advance for the next one? There we go. Thank you. My timing got screwed up.
Um, yeah, this is a hard format. You guys are, are being good, though. You're not heckling me or, or, or anything. <laughs> All right. So I want you to think about what information that you're recording now that you want the future to have about you and about now. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.